Uh, hello, uh, my name is Vineet Ram. I'm the Vice President for Global Strategic Marketing at Panduit. Tell us a little bit about, uh, about Panduit. Give us, for our readers who aren't familiar with what you do. Uh, Panduit is a leader in the physical infrastructure. Uh, what we do is we have a complete portfolio of capabilities, uh, products, hardware, and some services that essentially help to connect, manage, and automate uh, five types of systems, power, control, compute, communication, security. So what we really do is we provide a solid foundation to really deploy these systems. Could be servers, storage devices, computing devices, uh, as well as your power and your uh, uh, cooling and security capabilities as well. We connect them, we manage them in terms of having the right enclosures, the pathways, and, and identify the right things. And then we also provide the automation capability from an intelligent hardware and software perspective. All this is really tuned to make the physical foundation a lot more stronger, a lot more intelligent, a lot more managed. So it really brings up the ability of the entire infrastructure to be more flexible, and better. So we're here at the Gartner Center Conference, uh, and uh, what you see here is, uh, just behind me here, is Panduit capabilities. So you can see our enclosures or our cabinets, right, which are specially designed to have unique uh, thermal capabilities. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, space-saving capabilities as well, and all the other management that we do around our, around our cable management uh, and the pathways, that again helps to improve uh, better airflow. It, it, it drives uh, uh, really a lot of synergies that, are, that aligns that physical deployment with the characteristics of the logical equipment that you see inside here. If you, for example, here you have uh, some Cisco gear here in the cabinet behind us, and what we, what we provide is specially designed functionality that at the end of the day, uh, our story is to uh, help to optimize it from a power and cooling perspective, uh, space saving perspective, uh, as well as reducing the overall costs. And what you do is you reduce the risk of the entire infrastructure to be made by making it highly available and reliable as well. I'm Jack Tyson. I'm Panduit's uh, Chief Technology Officer. And uh, maybe I can explain a little bit about what's going on here in this cabinet that Beneath alluded to. Sure. And it really talks about uh, using a solutions-based approach to those things which have now made the environment in the data center much more complex. Uh, many of those things can be characterized as uh, the power density, the connectivity density, the transmission speed, um, and the management of cooling in the data center. So once you talk about the integration and the intersection of those sort of critical parameters, uh, deploying a solution-based architecture that's been put together as an operating system rather than a set of parts and pieces, it's critical to the performance of the, of the entire hardware system. So what we're talking about here is a Cisco 7000 series uh, switch, uh, either 7010 or 7018, very high density environment, uh, 10 gigabit cable infrastructure with even managed infrastructure uh, in this position here, being able to exactly um, monitor the connectivity of the switch ports to the patch field and ensure that any inordinate disconnection is uh, trapped as well as guide the proper connection of the switch ports. It also, at the same time, allows you to understand what port capacity you have available in a device like the Cisco Nexus 7000. You can see a very high density patch field taking advantage of every RU space in this cabinet. And then at the uh, top of the cabinet, you might see this vertical uh, metal piece. That is a vertical exhaust duct. And in today's uh, data center environments with these high powered uh, switch architectures and high density, what happens is we want to try to remove the uh, exhaust uh, temperature, the heat, from the cabinet to the upper plenum as quickly as we can. It increases the efficiency of the PRA uh, by increasing the temperature uh, delta T across the That'd be the computer room air handler. That's correct, right? yes. So uh, an Emerson Lieber computer room air handler will benefit from increasing that delta T across the heat exchanger, as well as it prevents things like wrap around uh, of the exhaust air into the inlet of the device. Right. And we might want to actually take a look at the cabinet next door, which is a good example of a server deployment of the same sort of situation, a very high density environment. Sure, you want to show us? Sure. So over here behind this cabinet, these are replicas that uh, we do this testing in our thermal laboratory of uh, Cisco's UCS architecture. And here there are five chassis uh, of the UCS system. Uh, these are very uh, high performance uh, 
chassis-based environments, server and switching, and they allow uh, for an enormous amount of compute density in a small space. At the top, uh, you'll see the Cisco fabric extenders, which are really remote deployments of a Cisco blade-style switching architecture. Uh, really, it's a, a blade from a switch, if you will, deployed remotely. Uh -huh. But in this cabinet uh, can be a very high KW load, very high volumetric airflow requirement. So again, we're showing a vertical exhaust at the top of the cabinet that uh, removes the hot air into the uh, return plenum and manages both the airflow uh, very carefully so that these devices are cooled appropriately. At the same time, if we walk around to the back, we'll take a look at how the cable management is. Sure. So at the back here, we're looking at the back of the UCS chassis. Uh, in many cases, you want to make sure that you can do hot module swapping in these devices without disturbing any of the other chassis themselves. So you see that our POUs are positioned off to the side. The cable management is handled very carefully so that any kind of hot swapping that needs to be done on these devices can be done without disruption. At the same time, you see the top of the switching architecture here with cable management, both fiber and copper managed very effectively. Uh, and uh, this allows for very effective use of the space. It also allows these devices, which have very different fan curves and very different response uh, from a cooling perspective, to be handled in, a, in an effective manner. In other words, make sure that their operating parameters are well within uh, the specific uh, operating parameters that Cisco allows them to be used in. So this entire infrastructure then can be put on into a data center yeah, into a room environment, and uh, Panduit will go in and analyze that effect of that deployment into the data center room itself. So, how, what kind of analysis would you do? What, so what for would instance, that the, uh, the cabinet itself and the devices are analyzed using com uh, computational fluid dynamics, mm -hmm. and uh, we utilize a couple of different software suites to do that. One, which is very effective at uh, handling the cabinet design. It is really used to design all the parameters of the cabinet system and the solution. And then a second software suite that does the integration into the room itself. Uh, so whenever we put this into a customer environment, we always want, or any of any solution for that matter, we always want to work with the customer to understand what their current environment is, particularly if it's a retrofit or even in a greenfield application, so that we can ensure that the proper volumetric airflow is supplied. Uh, look at the temperatures and the flow characteristics of the cross in the room and ensure that the deployment will go flawless. Okay. Hey, listen, Jack, thanks so much for showing us the, the Panduit uh, solution. Yeah, you're welcome, Rich Glancy.